Hello everyone, my name is Megan and today we are doing my priority TBR. So yeah, it's um it's like real hot today and I've had no energy to plan any other kind of video. I was gonna do um a list of all of my unread series, I was gonna do I have lots of ideas, but not none of those. It just seemed feasible when it is this warm. You know? So we're all going to ignore my, my weird tan lines on my arms, like that's yikes. We're going to ignore the fact that you can see my bra straps, like we're just, we're going to ignore everything because it's really hot. And I'm going to talk you through 15 of the books on my physical TBR that I actually own, that I, my priorities that I really want to get to in the next few months. I wouldn't say the next six months because I'm really hoping to have them all done before then, but I, I'd say the next couple. So let's jump in. So the first book is Isn't It Romantic by Lissa K. Adams. This is the fourth book in the Bromance Book Club series and follows Vlad, though I was gonna call him Ivan then, <laughs> as if it wasn't the other super stereotypical Russian name, but it's about the Russian guy on the baseball team who's been in the previous three books um, and his relationship with, but with his childhood friend, Elena, who he married. Not sure what the circumstances surrounding that were, but I'm excited to read it. This only came out recently, but I really wanted to pick it up as soon as it arrived and I've just been in a bit of a slump ever since so hopefully I get to this really soon. Um, it is the perfect hot weather read, I just, well, every time I go outside I seem to fall asleep so. Book number two is Caliban's War by James S.A. Corey. This is the second book in the Expanse series. I read Leviathan Wakes earlier this year I believe um, and it's about well, it's just like a massive sci-fi space opera type story that is difficult to discuss in a brief synopsis but it's about a guy who sees his spaceship that he is like a an ice hauler on get destroyed and sets off a chain of events that leads to like a massive almost galaxy ending like consequence and it's, it's very dramatic very political it was a good time and i'm looking forward to seeing where the rest of the series goes because it's not that the first book wrapped everything up but i don't know where the series is actually going from here and I'm intrigued. Plus I also want to watch the TV show on Amazon I believe um, and I want to read more of it before I, I dive into that. The next book on my priority list is The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. I have no idea what this is about. Um, I know it's written in second person. I know that it's apparently very very good. Um, each book in the series won the Hugo but I, I, no one has been able to give me a description that makes sense so I'm just going to read you what's on the back and then we're going to move on and pretend I didn't do that. This is the way the world ends for the last time. It starts with the Great Red Rift across the heart of the world's sole continent spewing ash that blots out the sun. It starts with death with a murdered son and a missing daughter. It starts with betrayal and long dormant wounds rising up to fester. This is the stillness, a land long familiar with catastrophe, where the power of the earth is wielded as a weapon and where there is no mercy. Still don't know what it's about. Very interested to see if I like it. Next is Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. This is the first book in the Dark Arsifices series by her, which is the third series in her Shadowhunters world. Not chronologically, but publication order. And I've owned this since it came out, but I've just never read it because I thought, I was like, oh, I'll buy it just in case and then wasn't interested and then the last hours series came out and I was in fact very interested in that one so have to go back and read this eventually because I'm 100% certain that they connect <laughs> and it would be useful for me to to know what's going on plus like I feel like I forget how but how invested I get in Cassandra Clare characters and then I read another Cassandra Clare book and I'm like oh yeah she does actually know how to make me deeply invested in people and that's rude of her so this one is set in LA and I know it's about Emma and Julian and that's all, all I've got I just know it's a Shadowhunters book set in LA I'm excited about it okay the next book I have is Fire From Heaven by Mary Rennell which is I believe book one in the Alexander the Great trilogy but if it's not then it's The Persian Boy and I have that one on audio um, but I'm pretty sure that this is the first one and I want to read this because it's Mary Renault is like lauded as the queen of like ancient retellings and I've loved all of the retellings I've read recently well that's a lie didn't really like The Penelope Ad by um, Margaret Atwood but I loved The Silence of the Girls by Pat Barker and I love every Mandela Miller I've read and I'm excited to read more and since Mary Renault is so respected um, I figured here is a great place to start and I, I love these editions like the way they look like proper classics on the side like they're also quite floppy which right now I appreciate but yeah 
very excited to get to the Alexander the Great trilogy and hopefully I really like it because I have two of the books so if I don't that's rough. Next I have The Star, Twi the Star Touched Queen by Roshani Chokshki. I don't really know what this one is about I just know that it's beautiful and I've heard great things about the way Roshani Trotsky writes characters and I know it's based on Indian folklore and mythology. I believe there's something about a character whose horoscope tells of death and destruction so she's sort of disliked in her community and I'm assuming that some kind of adventure comes out of that and I'm excited to get to it. And I also own A Crown of Wishes which would be fun to also read because it's a companion and not a direct sequel. But yeah, it's, it's just a gorgeous book and I've owned it for so long that I just, I really need to prioritise it now. Sorry if the angle has changed slightly, my memory card was full. Love how much warning it gave me for that. Um, but yeah, the next book on my list is The Colour of Magic by Terry Pratchett. This is the first book in the Discworld series. It is a well-beloved adult series and it has intimidated the heck of me, heck out of me for so long. I've owned this book since I was 16 and I'm now 24, so a solid eight years <laughs> this has just been sat moving around different apartments with me. It's been on a journey and it's not that long and I just, I need to, I need to dive in, especially since one of my goals this year is to read more adult fantasy. Like, is there anything more iconic than Terry Pratchett? I'd, you'd be hard pressed to find some that's not Tolkien, so gotta, gotta give it a go. The next book on my list is An Echo in the Bone by Diana Gabaldon. This is book six. This is book six, I'm sure. No, this is book seven. Book seven. Ah, this is the book I'm up to in the Outlander series. I read the rest of them in like a week when I was ill, when I was like 18. I don't know, the show hadn't been out for very long. It's on season five now. So yeah, it's been a while since I've read those five and I've owned the last two for so long and just not read them because I, they're just heavy. I read the others on ebook form and I don't know why I've not read these yet, but the show is sort of catching up now. It's not, it's not too far behind where I've actually read. So I need to, need to get going with this one. <laughs> maybe not in the next two months. Maybe this is a by the end of the year thing, but it's a priority because I own two of them and they're taking up a lot of space on my TBR shelf. The next book on my list sort of encompasses a haul I did at the beginning of my channel. It's um, Hope is a Thing with Feathers. It's the, an Emily Dickinson anthology. I bought a lot of poetry a few months ago because I really wanted to get more into poetry and I've since read one of them and it was the tiniest one I bought. So I really need to sort of prioritise reading my poetry. So yeah, hopefully I read this one soon. It's a, a gorgeous little cute edition. Um, I've got the poems of Emily Bishop to read through as well. I've got some 19th century French poetry, I've got some Persian poetry and I'd really like to go and buy the Maya Angelou poetry collection as well. But I can't justify buying more poetry till I've read the poetry I have, that's ridiculous. So yeah, chop chop. I, if, you, if you need a synopsis of this, it's lots of Emily Dickinson poetry. I don't know what else to say. The next book on my list is A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J Maas. I have yet to put the Illumicrate dust jacket on this just because I don't own the rest of the hardcovers yet and when I do that I sort of want to have all of them but I do need to do it because it, it got a bit battered in, in delivery so this isn't actually in the best condition but this is the latest offering of Sarah J Maas in her A Court of Thorns and Roses universe focusing on Nestor and Cassian. A Court of Thorns and Roses is about a girl who kills a fairy and is then kidnapped basically in some kind of Beauty and the Beast style arrangement to go live with the, the ruler of the fairy that she killed. Um, and lots, lots of things happen in that process and I don't know why I've not read this yet I've sort of not read any Sarah J Mass in a while so I've fallen out of love with it which is stupid because I know as soon as I start reading it I'm gonna love it again so just need to make some progress with this I just need to actually read it because I'm sure I'll love it it's the same story with Crescent City next we have Blood Witch by Susan Dennard this is book three in the Witchland series but it's technically the fourth entry because Sight Witch is a novella that's lots in between. And it follows Thread Sisters, Safi and Adult as they embark on a journey to escape political intrigue and the the machinations of, of their respective countries and it's very intense. And I'm now way behind on the read along because I have not yet read Sight Witch either. But I don't physically own that one because the cover doesn't match and it upset me. So I really need to carry on with this series because I'm very I, I really liked books one and two. And I just need to carry on with the rest of the series. Now my battery's dying, this is ridiculous. Next I have one last stop by Casey McQuiston. Um, this is about two sapphic people. One of them is, I, I believe, 
trapped in some kind of time situation on a train and falls in love with someone from the present day and it sounds great and I don't know why I've not read it yet because it's been out for a few months now so gotta get to this one because I loved Red, White and Royal Blue. Next we have The Devouring Grave by Rachel Lynn, no, Christine Lynn Herman, not Rachel Lynn Solomon, which I don't really know what this is about, I just know it's been compared to The Raven Boys and I fucking love The Raven Boys so hopefully it does give me those vibes and I like it and I mean it's got gorgeous pink edges so that's always fun. Just two more, hopefully my battery makes it. Next we have The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. I've owned this for so long, it's been signed by Samantha Shannon. Um, it's about, it's like a dystopian, like on a massive scale with like psychics and a really interesting world and I don't really know what else it's about. I'm hoping to find out more as I go into it but The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon is on a priority TBR. And the last one is The Road Trip by Beth O'Leary which is just I guess women's fiction it's I don't think it's a romance one of her others have like been straight romances they've all had too much else going on about one car five people and a whole lot of history and I don't really need to know any more than that going in it is a contemporary so I don't really like to but I'm very excited to get to that because I five starred Beth O'Leary's other two books and I was going to read this after I read A Little Life and then I didn't read A Little Life so didn't feel right to treat myself to the road trip but I'm gonna get to A Little Life soon and read it so yeah, very snappy ending. This has been my priority TBR. I'm very hot now. I'm going to go sign, sign off, say bye. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, follow me on other social media, and I will talk to you all in the next one.